closer here. Okay. Hey, Wogey. How are you, man? Como esta? Alright, so this is the demo that was showed in B3. We have the Porsche, the Mercedes big ass truck, and a Nissan GTR. I'm gonna try them all and see how it goes. Let's start with the Porsche. Dude, that's a beautiful car. I'm trying to put the mic it's a little bit on the way. Whatever. Okay, so these are the uh, the new freaking <clears throat> racing suits gear or whatever. Oh, these are all women. You can change it to man as well. Okay, I mean. It's a good idea, I guess. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, assists. Um, braking only. ABS off. Steering simulation off. Off. Manual simulation. Rewind on. Friction assist. This is new. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm not gonna use it though. Um, your avatar difficulty, let's put it highly skilled. No way. Let's put this off. And it's two laps around the Dubai new circuit. It's the only new circuit that are gonna use in this game for some reason. Shit, shit, shit. It's kind of freaking. Re what? I wanted to restart, dude. Okay, okay. Okay, that wasn't a good start. Dude, let me play the game. Holy shit. The steering was a little off, that's why I... Let me check something out. Oh. I wanted to change the... The wheel settings. The wheel was not turning like I had it in Forza 6. So let's try it out again. It's weird that it doesn't have a restart. Maybe because it's a demo.
Wait, can you move, please? I'm gonna download the full game on my PC to play it on on there when it comes out. It's gonna be awesome. It's taking forever to load. Okay, you can change everything but the uh your your controller settings. That's weird. Should be able to do it. Oh crap. Dude, come on. I guess this car works with... traction control or something? I don't know. Slides really easily with the uh, assist off, the, uh, the traction control off. But I think you can change that now in game, in race, I think. Uh, this is a good one. If you have a wheel like me, you can use this camera angle, it's pretty good. I'm gonna use traction control in this car. I mean, it's impossible to drive without it. Let's give it another trap. It goes straight into a drift. I'm trying to control it, but it's pretty hard. Feels so much different. Yeah, see, I mean, it doesn't work without that. Let's turn that on. I think you can do that now in game, which is good. Traction and stability control. Let's turn it on. Let's see how it works now. The in-game, you don't have to go out and do it again. That's pretty good. Because sometimes you get a car that is pretty hard to handle. I'm used to do it without the traction control and stuff, but... Damn, the game looks good, man.
Oh god. I always wanted that card in Forza 6. Let's try that out again. I'm trying to put on the telemetry, but. I like that animation when you change the view. Camera view, it's pretty good. Finally, I got through. Well, third place. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh, it's good. Let's try out the other races. They're gonna put on all, all these advertisements. That portion is really hard to handle. Pretty, pretty hard, just hard to handle without the uh, the mo uh, the traction control. Also, um, the cars feel heavier, much heavier than Forza Six. That's gonna be the garage, dude. I cannot wait for this game. Um, let's try out the freaking giant truck. Thing is a beast, dude. Oh, they have more attires here. You can be a woman or a man. Mugello circuit. These are gonna be unlockable, I think. All of them. These are like old school. I like this one a lot. I'm gonna leave traction control on for this. And it's gonna be Mugello. Mugello was not in the past games, I think.
Okay, I never used this car in Forza 6. It was released as a DLC, but I never used it. Let's see how it is. It's freaking huge, man. I don't know how it's gonna handle. You gotta chip really quick. You gotta chip really fast. Okay, I like this camera better. What the hell is this, man? Okay, this is gonna feel like a boat. Damn it. Okay, if the Porsche felt heavy. Whoa! This one feels like a freaking whale. Holy shit. Oh, do we have photo mode? No, that's gonna be in the uh, final game, I guess. to be a little higher or something. This one is pretty good. I don't know why they put this in the demo. I would have put, this, I don't know, something different, you know? But it's fine. Dude, it's so huge, the camera is super weird. It has eight gears. Like a 130 top speed, I think. No, more than that. Holy shit. It was way easier than the, uh, the Porsche. But to my surprise, it's super easy to drive. I thought it was gonna be like super heavy, but it's fine. see how this looks on my PC. I might download it later and try it out, but I'm gonna wait for the full game for that. I'm gonna stream that a lot on Mondays. More than any other day. Okay, 
this was easy. Thing of a behemoth, dude. Um, let's check out the other one. about demos dude you have to see that shit over and over again okay now last but not least the uh, GTR in Nürburgring with rain let's see how that goes and even more they're showing off more of these track suits. Oh, this one looks like an astronaut, dude. That's super cool. Super rare. Okay, you can see, yeah, they, they're showing off the, uh, what the game has to offer. These are gonna be, like, in freaking crates and stuff, which I don't like, but let's use the astronaut one. Let's see how it goes. It's taking forever to load though. Well, the game's made for PZ basically, and the One X. Okay, load baby, come on. I didn't set up the, the game on the PC because I have to get like a super long HDMI cable from the PC to the TV here in the setup. Um, I have to disconnect one of the monitors because I, uh, I only have in the cap in the video card, I only have like display ports and I have to take one monitor out. Super stupid. Okay, now. Well, I don't like that. It's loading like the textures, you see? This game is not gonna run so well in the, uh... In this case, in the 1S. Super demanding. Let's, let's see. If that, was the, if, if that was the case, I would have released the game. Track doesn't look that good in this console. I'm gonna try it out on PC and see how it goes. But on console, on the One S, the game doesn't look that impressive, to be honest. I'm gonna do one lap like this and the other one inside the console. It does sound good. It 
does look good. Way better than fourth and six. Every single track has that. But there's a few ones. Let's go into the cockpit. Oh crap. Good, pretty good. Oh, you can feel the freaking tires. It's liberating, dude. And now the ring stuff. That's pretty good. I have to get into them. That's pretty good. I hope the track doesn't, like, in longer races, the track doesn't, like, dry completely after rain. I guess if you start with normal tires and it starts to rain, this happens because I think you have to change your tires in the game now if it starts raining or whatever. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, I liked it a lot, man. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Well, the game comes out. For me, on the 29th of September, I'm gonna get the uh, the version that lets you play earlier. And I've been seeing some pretty good shit. What I don't like about the game is that Toyota is not in the game for some reason. And that you cannot, I've seen that like in Forza Horizon 3, you could buy the upgrades in bulk. Like you select what you wanna buy and in the end you pay everything. They took that out for some reason. So, yeah. We're getting track suits. I want to see how the garages are. If it's like there or in Dubai, like the other games. So, it arrives on October 3rd. I'm going to be able to play it on September 29th. And I'm gonna stream it here. I'm gonna stream it here in this channel. Uh, let's see what you can change in here. Chase here, camera view. Okay, this is a camera. 